Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rexford here, and welcome to part 3 of my Anime Studio tutorial for Beginner Series. And today we're going to be going over character creation. Yes, we are finally at the point in the series um, where we can finally create our own characters after learning about how to kind of move around the interface and all that different kind of stuff. We're going to finally go ahead and create something for our own in which we can animate and color and all that cool kind of stuff. And this is going to help us explore a lot of the other options as well in the program. Um, so yeah, I guess with that said, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start by creating a brand new file or scene here by going File and New or Control N for the uh, hotkey if you don't feel like going to the file up here in the toolbar options. And um, I apologize if I seem a bit tired here. Um, and to tell you guys the truth, I really wanted to get this video out and um, I've tried countless times to create this video but for some reason it always ends up just not really working the way I wanted to. It either goes too long or I just kind of, I don't know, I just don't really like the way um, that it kind of goes over. So I kept go doing different takes of it, and um, hopefully this will be the last take in which I have to do. But anyway, let's go ahead and just start the tutorial, and hopefully things will go the way I want them to um, as this kind of uh, starts to digress. So let's go ahead and start off by creating our character's head here. And we're going to go over to the draw shape option here in the subsection, um, or rather in the draw subsection of the tools palette. Go and click on that, or you can hit E on your keyboard. Now, we're going to go ahead, and once you click on that, you'll notice the option up here comes up with uh, different shapes in which you can choose. And um, I actually went over these options in, I believe, my first tutorial, so you guys should be pretty much uh, familiar with how this works here. I'm going to go ahead and just choose the oval for the head of my character. Now, what you want to do is um, basically, before you start anything, um, since we already know that this is going to be the head of our character, we're going to go down here to our layers palette, and I know I haven't really gone around layers, or rather, um, I guess, on layers. <laughs> Sorry, kind of uh, blanked out there for a minute, or a minute but uh, basically, what layers are for is we're going to be using layers for pretty much everything in which we create in the program and that's pretty much how Anime Studio works. Um, basically the layers are kind of the folders, if you will, for all of our objects, our backgrounds, and all that different kind of stuff. Um, if you guys have worked in any layer based uh, paint programs or animation programs, you guys pretty much know what I'm talking about, but if not, then you guys will pretty much understand just, you know, as the series and tutorial just kind of digresses. So let's go ahead and go to this layer here where it says layer one, double click on it. And you'll notice when we open up this layer here, um, there's a lot of different options here, and it could be overwhelming at the uh, kind of first glance here, but don't worry, it's really easy. A lot of this stuff is way self-explanatory anyway, so um, it's not really that complicated. And, you know, there's just kind of extra things that you can add on to uh, your layers, and um, we'll be going over these in a bit more detail later on. But for now, all you need to know is how to rename your layers. And um, when you double-click on the layer, the name of the layer is highlighted, so you can obviously just go ahead and start typing away, and we're just going to go ahead and name this layer head and I'm going to use a capital H just for the sake of uh, more detailed organization um, you can use just a lowercase h if you like but um, it's kind of just up to you and we're going to go ahead and hit OK alright so now you'll see that the name of our layer went ahead and uh, kind of changed there to head and so we have just created a head layer and um, that's not really anything special you could have named it alligator and still just put a head there but um, it's just for the sake of organization and that we know that this for sure is where our head is at and when you create a character later on um, with a lot more advanced uh, kind of ligaments and stuff you're going to want to definitely name this um, as well and just kind of put things in folders and just so you'll have a better, uh, a better idea of where everything is and you won't get all lost. Um, but nonetheless, I'm just babbling on here. Let's go ahead and uh, hold shift and click, or rather left click, and drag inside of this little purple bordered area here, or the scene. And um, you'll notice when you hold shift and uh, you kind of click and drag an object into the scene, um, the object is kind of on a precise measurement, I guess. Um, it's not kind of all, you can't really go in every which way. Um, you're only going in a certain way, so it's kind of like a controlled stretch here. And I'm going to get to around, I'd say around there. 
looks good so somewhere around this kind of uh, measurement and I'm gonna go ahead and hit T here to kind of move this around and since it's gonna be the head I'm gonna move it up quite a bit here there we go hit enter to confirm that and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a body layer now so to create another layer um, we're gonna go ahead over here by the uh, in the little layers palette and click on the blank sheet of paper here that says new layer and we're gonna go ahead and create a vector and what vectors are, are basically shapes in which you can, can uh, create in Anime Studio, as well as points. So it's basically the objects that are created within Anime Studio. Um, or you can take, I believe, uh, vector art that's created in Photoshop and kind of import in here. So vectors are kind of a form of, I guess, art, I guess, that you can kind of uh, use to... Uh, kind of import in the Anime Studio program as well as create and basically the more you use Anime Studio you'll kind of kind of get a better understanding of what they are um, but nonetheless we're gonna go ahead and double click on here and we're gonna name this body alright and you'll notice something um, when I create the new layer here rather when I create the new layer um, when I had the head layer clicked and I create a new layer, the body layer, or the layer 2, um, automatically got created right above the layer. And this is going to be a bit important um, later on in the series, um, because we're going to want to um, kind of make sure that we have certain layers clicked um, when we're creating a new layer, so that a layer in which we're going to create doesn't kind of end up in a different folder or bone layer, something other uh, like that. So um, that will be later on in the series, but for now, I just kind of wanted to point that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and create another shape here. We're going to go ahead and go with the rectangle, and not holding shift this time, we're going to go ahead and just create a simple body here, simple body shape, and I'm going to go ahead and control Z that to undo that, because that was a little bit too big for me. Um, you're going to want something around, uh, around this size should be good. And you'll notice we've run into a bit of an odd problem here, and we hit render or control R, or rather preview of it, or as it's called over here in the file menu. Um, you'll notice that our body is in front of our head. And um, I apologize, guys, if this is kind of taking a while. Um, that was another problem that I had with the previous takes of this video. It was just kind of going um, a bit longer than I actually wanted it to. So I apologize if this is longer than, uh, than you guys may want it to be. But, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so basically the problem here is the body is in front of our head layer, and obviously that's not how bodies are in real life, and even if someone's body is like that in real life, um, I do kind of feel sorry for them, but, you know, for the majority of people, that's not how uh, people's bodies are. So to fix that, we're going to go ahead and simply click and drag this body layer right below the head layer. You know when you, or rather, you'll notice when you click and drag your body layer, or any layer for that matter, um, you have a little red line here that kind of appears, and uh, that kind of tells you where this layer exactly is going to be going, and that's a nifty feature that is uh, kind of in Anime Studio. And um, as you can see when we render that, our body layer is now behind our uh, little head layer and we have a nice little basic body shape going and everything looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit enter here. Alright, so really quickly, let me go over something with you guys before we continue. Um, there is kind of a way, um, not necessarily to do what we just did with our body and head layer here, but there is a way to kind of um, implement that or I guess kind of uh, duplicate that rather in a single layer. So let's say that we had the head layer here. Let me go ahead and choose our select points tool. Click in the middle of our head layer here. And I'm going to actually go ahead and cut this by hitting control and X at the same time or we could go edit and cut. And go back to our uh, body layer here and control V to paste it or obviously edit and paste. Now you'll see here we have both layers in uh, rather both shapes in one layer here. Now, let's say that we ended up creating the body first, and I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of do something. I'm going to kind of cheat here and go Control x to cut, Control v to paste. And let's say, um, again, we have our body and head layer like this in one layer instead of two separate layers. And we wanted to, without moving the layers, because let's say this head layer didn't even exist. Let's go and delete that for the time being. Now let's say we just have this one layer and we have these two different shapes and we want to have this circle layer on top of the body layer. Well there's multiple ways we could do this. One of the ways we could do this is select inside of our, I'm um, just going to click anywhere inside of our uh, head layer here and go cut and paste. And you'll see now that when you paste it, it automatically goes on top of whatever is kind of in the, uh, I guess, uh, scene here. 
and so we could kind of carry on like this and stuff like that except I want to do this a little bit differently so let's go ahead and do the same thing to the body layer to go ahead and kind of reenact this here there we go so what we can do here is go over to our fill subsection within our draw or rather within our tools palette here and click the select shape there we go now we have this little checkered pattern here now what we can do is go to the draw uh, option in our little toolbar and go to lower shape and you'll see now when we do that when we render this out that our body layer is now behind our little head layer here so that's all pretty good that's exactly what we want to do and um, the only thing is if we were to try to do that with the select shape tool let's go ahead and hit enter here um, and select our body layer um, you'll notice that we, when we go to the draw option here, this raise shape and lower shape and all that different kind of stuff isn't kind of, uh, I guess, unlocked or able to use right now. And that's because we have, to we have to choose the shape itself instead of just choosing the points around it before we can actually use this draw option here, or rather some of the options within the draw option. So that's pretty much that, um, but the only thing is I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose the select point here, click inside the shape, and control X, or actually I'm just going to go ahead and go edit and cut, and create a new layer again, vector, and double click, and I'm going to go ahead and name this body, enter, alright, and control V to paste that, and click and drag this right below the body layer so it's underneath of the um, body, and whoa, hang on a minute. Let's go ahead and name this head. Okay, I kind of mixed that up a little bit. All right, so now the body layer is below the head layer, so that's how we want it. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Um, oh, that's right. Okay, so why do we need to split these up in layers? Well, the main reason is when we go to rig this character, basically add bones to it, um, everything won't exactly work the way we want it to if we were to um, keep everything in one layer. Um, it would get a little bit... Um, how should I put this? A little bit jumbled, I guess. And um, it would work out a lot better if we had everything kind of separate. So it's kind of a separate bone for separate layers. And we kind of are going to put it together. And um, that's, that's pretty much how it's going to work. So, um, yeah, it's basically why we're creating everything in a separate layer here. As opposed to if we were to put everything in one layer. Um, and if everything's in one layer, it's going to get really kind of all over the place and jumbled anyway. So you don't really want that to happen. Alright, so, um, let's see, how are we doing on time here? Eity, okay, we're kind of taking up a bit of, uh, bit of the time frame here. I don't know if I should continue this on another part or not. Because we haven't really accomplished a lot in this episode, have we? Uh, well, I guess we kind of went over the layers here, kind of the basic layer functions, and how everything kind of works. So, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and um, continue this on in part four. I apologize, guys. I know this is kind of just like a filler episode, or seems kind of like a filler episode because we didn't really accomplish a lot. But, you know, in a sense, we kind of understood the basic um, anatomy or whatever. Um, <laughs> anatomy. Um, the basic kind of, uh, I guess, system of how the layers and such work here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue this on with part four, guys. And once again, I apologize for this video kind of taking a while. Um, but I really wanted to cram a lot of this information in without kind of at the same time undetailing it and uh, making it all kind of hard to understand. So hopefully you guys understood a lot of what uh, went on in this episode. And I'm going to go ahead and quit here and start again on part four. So hopefully I will see you guys then. Feel free to comment rate on this video as well as subscribe to my channel for upcoming updates on future videos and other cool stuff. And like always, guys, this has been Rex Furry and I'll see everyone next video.